Hey everyone, this is Alex from the Liquality team, and today I'm going to show you how to atomic swap from the Liquality wallet. For those of you who don't know, the Liquality wallet allows users to hold balances across different blockchains in the same wallet and also supports very simple one click atomic swaps. Since April of this year, Liquality has enabled users to atomic swap over $3 million in volume. And we hope that our wallet will make atomic swaps even more accessible and easier to use. So let's get started. So far, the wallet is available to download for Google Chrome and Brave browser users. If you have Chrome, you can go to their web store and download our extension using the link in the description below. Now that we've downloaded the wallet, let's go ahead and read through the terms of use and privacy policy. If everything looks good to you, click I accept. Great, now you'll be met with two options for setting up your wallet. You can either import a seed phrase from one of your existing wallets, or you can create a new wallet. Today, let's create a new wallet. We'll be asked to create a password. This password will lock and unlock your extension so that only you can access your wallet. Make sure to store a copy of your password in a safe place. So now you'll be prompted with your 12 word seed phrase. Make sure to back this phrase up as well. Once you've done that, you'll be able to see this main wallet screen. So let's imagine you want to swap the ERC-20 version of Tether for Bitcoin. Well, you'll need both Tether and Ether balances in order to begin swapping. So let's deposit some of those assets into this wallet. On the main screen, click on the Tether row, click Receive, then click Copy Address. Then you can go to your other wallet and send some Tether to this copied address. It looks like we got some Tether. Now let's see the same for Ether. All right, looks like we got our Ether. Now you might be asking, why do we need both Tether and Ether balances? Well, that's a great question. You'll need the Tether to swap, but you'll also need Ether to pay gas fees to the Ethereum network. Now that we have some Tether and Ether in our wallet, let's start our atomic swap. On the Tether page, click the swap button. Okay, there's a lot to take in here, so let's go through the screen line by line. Over here, you can see that you're sending Tether, and here you can find your Tether balance, as well as the minimum and maximum amounts you can swap with liquidity. Let's swap $10 worth of Tether. Below that row, you can see that you'll be receiving Ether. Here, I can select whatever coin I want to swap my Tether into using the drop down menu here. And we can see that the rate adjusts accordingly over in this section here. Today, we'll be swapping Tether for Bitcoin, where one USDT is equal to this amount of Bitcoin. Now, you'll also find this receive at external address option. If you choose this option, then in this case, you'll be sending Tether from your Liquality wallet and receiving your Bitcoin in another wallet of your choice. But today, let's just proceed without choosing that option. So we'll be receiving Bitcoin in this wallet. Before we click Review Terms, you also have the ability to choose different network fees. If you choose the slow options, you'll be paying the least amount of network fees to the respective networks but it will take longer for your atomic swap to complete. If you choose the fast options, you'll be paying higher network fees, but your atomic swap will likely complete quickly. The average option is somewhere between the two options. Today, let's use the fast options to see just how quickly we can atomic swap across different blockchains. On this review term screen, we're shown the final details of our atomic swap if we're happy with everything, let's initiate swap. But note the information right below the details. It says that if our swap doesn't complete within three hours, we'll be refunded in six hours at this time. The beauty of atomic swaps is that if our swap doesn't execute successfully, then we're guaranteed a refund. 
The only way that the swap wouldn't execute successfully is if the fee that we set in the previous screen wasn't enough to confirm within this three hour time frame. But since we chose the fast options, we can be confident that our atomic swap will execute successfully before the expiry. So let's initiate swap. Now on our tether page, we can see our transaction is going through. We can see this one out of four spinner that represents what step in the atomic swap process that we're currently in. We can see all the details of the swap by clicking on the swap order. Here, we can find the timeline for our atomic swap and what step in the process that we're in. It looks like our initial USDT transaction has confirmed and we can click on this link to open it up in a block explorer. Here we can see that we're waiting for our counterparty's Bitcoin transaction to confirm before we can claim that Bitcoin. There's also this advanced section, which we can browse through, but it's primarily used for debugging purposes. So, you know, if you reach out to the liquidity team for support, make sure you know how to get to that advanced section. Okay, it looks like our counterparty's Bitcoin transaction has confirmed, and now we can claim our Bitcoin. The wallet will do this automatically, and we do have the option to speed up our Bitcoin transaction. But because we chose those fast options when we first initiated the swap, we probably won't need to do that today. So currently, both the Tether and Bitcoin are locked in their respective HTLC escrows on their respective chains. And now the atomic swap is waiting for us to begin claiming the Bitcoin so that our counterparty can claim their Tether. Right now, the wallet is beginning to claim the Bitcoin, and it does this automatically, so long as our browsers are being connected to the internet. All right, it looks like the atomic swap is complete. Let's go back to the main screen, and we can see here that we got some Bitcoin. That's how easy it is to atomic swap cross-chain with the Liquality wallet. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe if you did, and make sure to follow us on Twitter for future updates. If you have any questions or comments about the tutorial, feel free to comment down below. And again, the download link for the wallet is available in the description. And if you need support or have feedback for the wallet, make sure to visit liquality.io and contact us through our support chat using this button here below. Thanks for watching.